Hello and so sabai. I'm Chris Parkers, the director of the Sinsi Simut documentary Elvis of Cambodia. My family and I have been living here in Cambodia now for three months as we ramp up finishing on our film. And it's been an exciting time. You know, we love being in Cambodia. We're excited to be finishing this film. Um, one of the things that I want to talk to you about today is one of the bigger challenges that we've been up against, which is really specifically telling the story of Sinsi Simut himself. Now that may sound funny, being that this is a film about Sinsi Simut, but it's important to remember a couple of things here. While the film is about Sinsi Simut and his story, it's also of course about uh, the people, Cambodians who are connected to he and his legacy and, and, and really his music, and they're informed and inspired by his music and his legacy. However, we fully realize and embrace the notion that you're expecting to see Sinsi Simut in this film. You're expecting to be moved by Sinsi Simut's story. You want to have a Sinsi Simut experience. Now what you may or may not know is that at the very outset, uh, one of our biggest challenges with this is that in terms of archival footage and photos, let's talk specifically about footage. We have only come across one single piece of footage of Sinsi Simut that exists out there. Now, this was never a surprise to us. We've known this from the very outset, like I said, of, of filming on this. Uh, so we really embraced this notion of getting creative with our storytelling. We knew that while we have characters that are associated with Sinsi Simut, we still knew that we had a responsibility to share Sinsi Simut himself, his story with you. And so one of the key ways that in which we're doing this is through the usage of animation. We have a number of specific sequences that tell the story of Sinsi Simut, tell his life story in animated sequences. And so very recently, we've been dialoguing with a number of animators and artists and animation studios here in Cambodia. And I'm happy to say that the level of animation and the level of professionalism has surprised even us here in Cambodia. So that's great news. In fact, there's one particular company that we're dialoguing extensively with right now who we really want to bring in the fold, who we think will be amazing for this storytelling, this animation, uh, depicting Sinsi Simut and his story. Now, all of that being said, in order to make our deadline of having the film completed by January of 2020, so that's three and a half roughly months away, we have to be able to get animation underway now, as soon as possible. It's going to take a minimum of three months to get these sequences animated, essentially. So I'm reaching out to you today personally to ask for your donation, no matter how big or small. Your donation will go directly towards these animated Sinsi Simut sequences. Now to be able to do that, simply go to our website at elvisofcambodia.com. Again, your donation, no matter how small or how large, goes directly towards the animated sequences. We can get this started as soon as possible if we reach our goal of $8,000 to be able to make these animated sequences. In advance, I wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, we're super happy to have you along this journey. We have been the entire process. Okun Tran, thank you very much for your donation.